What's up? Look familiar? So I am back at the Prescott Waterfall Loop Trail, and I'm thinking that tonight, this spot is gonna be great. I've chosen this waterfall. Can't remember the name of it. And the one that's above it uh, to be my main subjects for tonight. Uh, maybe I'll do a panorama, maybe not. Uh, but what I can tell you is the waters are flowing a lot heavier today than they were yesterday. So this big rock area, there's not as much as it as there was yesterday. So it limits what I can kind of walk around on. But the Northern Lights, we had a CME hit, but it's the wrong polarity. But if it flips the BZ, uh, the magnetic orientation of the solar winds were to flip, then uh, we could be in for a really good show. But the problem is, I don't have any cell phone service over here, so I won't know if it flips. So I'll just be checking it all night. I'm gonna leave my backup camera going on a time lapse and just kind of hoping for the best. So and while I pretty much photograph the waterfalls all night facing south. So I'm gonna try to work some things with the waterfall and kind of redo some compositions because I'm pretty sure all my shots were, were in the water here. Well, guys, as you can see, I have traversed to a new area. I made it back to Summit Peak Observation Point. Skies are starting to clear. And I'm hoping they do. I have no service, of course. So now we wait. Really nice sunset. I just randomly got three bars and some service. So, <laughs> not gonna lie, pretty happy about that. Oh, four bars, here we go. Oh, stupid ad. But, checking the Northern Lights data, doesn't look good. We are under KP5, which means the strength is there, but that doesn't really matter. I guess it means the potential's there. We need the solar wind to go negative. Which it really doesn't look like it wants to. I guess we'll wait and see. Oh man. I don't even know what to say. Do you ever just do some things and just can't believe you do them? Like, you do something and you just realize how stupid it is. How dangerous it could be. I think this is one of the first nights where I was actually, like, truly a little worried. I don't know why. Something's just spooked, I guess. Maybe it's because this place is just so remote. But man, it's such a stunning view. And I, I really hope I'm able to pull off the shot. But man, like... So, in the last video, you guys saw me, you know, go up this little tower and... Came up here for sunset and, you know, I want to stay for Astro. And uh, here I am, doing it. 
but the longer I'm here, the more I realize, like, this is... Yeah, I mean, it can potentially be dangerous. I have... I have my bear spray, so... There's that, but, you know... Part of me wants to just go back right away and go to sleep in my car. But it's a mile and a half hike back. I'm sorry, it's a half a mile hike back. Which in reality, honestly, is nothing. But I just realized, I don't know if my backpack is officially broken. My camera backpack. But, um... The zipper completely just split apart. So I think the only thing that was holding all my stuff in my bag was my, literally my back keeping the backpack closed. So I just have to be careful with how much stuff I load in it. If not, I might have to buy another backpack, which is frustrating because I've only owned this thing for maybe six months. Or maybe I can have someone install a new zipper. I don't know, but I'm here. I'm waiting for darkness. I have literally like a whole nother hour and I just have nothing to do. I got service for like three minutes and it just it's gone I've been listening to music just to keep noise going and uh, it's Spotify so I need service hopefully it'll just keep playing the same album over and over again um, but I also have to manage the battery life on my phone because it's operating my Benro Polaris so I, I brought tons of little, you know, battery pack chargers, and I have cords to charge my camera, but that's, you know, a, a back, or not charge my camera, to charge my phone, but that's just to keep it, keep it going, and I have cords to charge my devices if I need to, and, and everything, so, you know what, I really hope that tonight works out, and I get some next level incredible shots, because I think it's going to be pretty hard to beat Lake of the Clouds. So, we'll see how this goes tonight. The aurora popped off and it went crazy right as darkness fell and I'm really glad that I did a full 360 uh, panorama when I did because that cloud just came out of nowhere so I stuck around for like 10-15 minutes trying to figure out what the cloud was doing and then I just decided to pack up and go so then I headed back toward the waterfalls and I checked at the crossroad and I looked south and it was completely clear so I booked it to the waterfalls, I got down to the waterfalls, and I did another... Th this time I actually did a tracked 360. Um, so I'm really excited to put that one together, because I had some really tall trees on each side of me. So I think that one's going to look really cool if it all comes together well. So, hope you guys enjoy these images. Mm -hmm. 